Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I am off to an investors meeting. <sighs> Ouch. And just like every day when we start this thing, we have to allow it to warm up. That diesel life. The sound I love most. We're gonna need this stuff. That's the address and the GPS. We gotta let her get warm. Today is a little bit more important than all the other days. That's why I'm dressed. Oh, yeah. Kind of sophisticated. Got my watch on. Trying to look a little extra fly. But I got a bunch of stuff to do as well, along with that investors meeting, including taking this stuff back. But that's when the magic of multitasking comes in hand. I'm getting pulled over by a town cop. It's been a good two or three minutes. He has yet to come out of the vehicle. I don't know what's going on. Here he comes. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, your registration's expired. Registration's expired? The 11th of October is when it was up. So make sure you renew that soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, there's a finite, there's a date printed here. Okay. It's not like the inspection. Most people see 1016 and assume it's like the inspection. 1011 is when it was up, okay? Are you Dalton? Yes. All right, man, you're all set, okay? I'm all gonna right. write you a ticket for it. All right. Just know that I could. It's it's, it's expired, it's an unregistered motor vehicle, so all right. just get that taken care of. All right. You do it online real quick. You do it online, it ups, it updates today, Okay. and then you're good to go. All right. all right, man? Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. See you. Take care. Those are the cops I like to see. I'm going home right now and take care of this. I don't want to drive all the way to Buffalo, get pulled over again for the same thing, and then get an actual citation for it. Try to renew it online real quick and then take off. Even though I'm running, I will be running late now. I'm thankful that that cop understood. I'm sort of confused why this registration is already up. Usually in New York State, when you go and get a vehicle registered, they give you a two-year registration. For some reason, they only gave me a six-month registration, I guess. That's very confusing. Very confusing. I'm thankful that that cop understood where I'm coming from. He's a local cop. If it was a state trooper or a sheriff, they probably wouldn't be so understanding, but I'm, I'm thankful. We will be running low on time, but I'm gonna try my best, get this thing registered, take off for Buffalo, I want to make it to this meeting. This meeting is very important. I'd rather be running a little late than spending a lot of money and letting my insurance know about this because tickets and all that kind of stuff, insurance is already expensive enough. You add that stuff on top of it, it's gonna be even more expensive. We're homebound, baby. We gotta go home, we gotta go home. I just re-registered my vehicle. It took literally one minute. $128 later, I am now legal again. The one minute didn't screw me up. The turning around and going home screwed me up. I don't want to run my tire with low air pressure. I'm going all the way to Buffalo. That's quite a distance for me. Well, at least this tire. And unfortunately, there's a guy blocking the way, blocking the air compressor. Now I gotta wait for him. I hope I make this meeting. I really hope I do. Luckily the hose is long enough. I can sneak right by this guy. I gotta put the money in first. That's okay. Can you sneak by me? that little thing really did. It looks, the tire looks a little better. You guys know how yesterday Ian gave me that four x four? I think I put it in the video. I got a free four x four from Ian. I love free four x fours. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but you know. Well, I wanted to take that out of the back of my truck because I have my BMW hood in there right now. And I don't want 
that 4x4, it's a heavy 4x4, I think it's pressure treated, or it's just waterlogged. I don't need that 4x4 to be and damaging my BMW hood. Brand new hood, first 4x4, I think the 4x4 will win. And then this happened, because I'm going to be late, like there's no doubt about it. I just don't know if they're going to allow me to go into the meeting after it starts. I can only blame myself, that's, that's all I can do. And I'm not going to take it out on myself too bad. I'm just going to take it easy. No point in stressing out. We all make mistakes and we learn from them. And maybe next time I'll put a working watch on because this watch does not work. <laughs> maybe if it was working, I would be on time even with that cop pulling me over. I managed the meeting. What do we got? That's macadamia? The investor meeting went relatively well. I ended up being 14 minutes late. I had to make my own parking spot for this rig. Here, I'll actually show you. It worked. I didn't get towed or anything, so that's always a good thing. That lunch was very tasty and very satisfying. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I have an idea. They had what I wanted, but the price was a little ridiculous. My idea is more of a test than anything, and I really needed that other part that I was shopping for, but the price was just ridiculous. I'm not gonna pay that. I can go online or, or I can find a different, just a, I can find a different solution. The only thing buying stuff online is it screws up the time schedule. Other than that, it doesn't really screw up anything. This is what I want to test. I want to test this on the BMW, see if it helps the performance any. And if it does, then sweet. If it doesn't, that's why it's a test. I just had the funniest checkout lady ever. I should have filmed this. You know how usually you pay like, say say you pay $14 and you give somebody a 20, then they count you out five and then a $1 bill, six, and then they just throw you the change. They're like, here you go. This girl just, she counted out the pennies. There was. 14 cents, she counted out four pennies. She's like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Next time I see that chick, I'm definitely gonna have to buy something ridiculously cheap and go in there with a $100 bill and see how she reacts. Because that would be hilarious. Totally hilarious. I ended up making it home, which is good. Remember how this morning I was going to take those pipes back? I didn't have everything for the return. Luckily I knew that before I actually went in there and made a out of myself. So I'm gonna get that stuff and we'll take the BMW because the Duramax is way overqualified. We don't need to be running a 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine, even though diesel engines are much more efficient than gasoline engines. But there's a hell of a lot more engine here than there is the BMW. This thing's nothing compared to that. I need the packaging. Actually, probably this whole bag. Yeah, I think that'll do. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, Dalton, why'd you go to that investor's meeting? Well, I'll tell you while I put my tools away so we can multitask, get some stuff done while communicating with you guys. I love communicating with you guys, but I also like to get work done as well. So we combine the two and we have a kick situation. So the investor meeting to begin with went, well, I guess good. Nobody, no fights broke out. There were no harsh words exchanged. And for the most part, everybody got along. Saying that, the investor meeting was about coming was coming up with a new dirt bike brand. We're gonna compete with Yamaha, Kawasaki, Honda. It's gonna be made in the USA, funded in the USA, and they're gonna be diesel engines. I am completely joking. <laughs> that, that is not what the investor meeting was about. Now, I don't know how much I actually wanna share about this, but what I do wanna share is that I am an investor. I am a shareholder in this group. Um, the company specializes in renewable energy, which I completely, 100%. Renewable is the way to go. You burn up the gas, you burn up the diesel, guess what, you're never getting it back. It, it's in the atmosphere, bye-bye, goodbye. To be more specific, it's wind energy. A lot of people think solar is the way to go. That is not the case after doing research. There wasn't a meeting because something came up or something was needed. Legally, we had to do it. And that's why we did it. I enjoyed it though, it got me out of the house. Some people stayed there for an hour and a half, some people stayed there for three hours. I was one of the people that stayed there for three hours. I enjoyed it very much. 
I enjoy being surrounded by successful people. Now I'm now I'm young, okay? I was the youngest one at the meeting. I'm 22 years old. You guys know that. I got to get the stuff out of the out of the Duramax. Now in my opinion, it sounded like a lot of people knew what they were talking about, and they had some wise ideas. We did end up having a vote. I was on the opposing side, and the opposing side lost. But after the vote went through, I kind of understood why. Yeah, it was a good thing that I lost. Oh, I got everything I need. Except, oh, I got the, the keys are in here, okay. I have a feeling the people that were more vocal had more money into the company. And I mean, harsh words were not exchanged, but there were definitely criticisms. It was almost like professionals cussing. And I found it very fascinating because these people must have money tied up into it and they want to see something out of it. And I completely understand. I'm in their same shoes. I just, I might not have as much money as they do tied up, but I want to see this thing go off too. But it was kind of cool to see everybody's business experience all come into one room. And for me to absorb what I heard, I, I'm extremely grateful for that. And if this company comes out to nothing, what I learned in that three hours might actually be worth what I invested into the company originally, even with the cat pulling me over. By the way, the funniest thing about today's video is I just got done watching Tanner Fox get pulled over by the police. And I'm like, hey, I wonder when I'm gonna get pulled over in the Duramax. It happened one hour later. Thoughts are a crazy thing. If you think it, it happens. Put your mind to something creative and something positive, and it will come to you. Think of something negative, like cops pulling you over, it'll come to you. By the way, Tanner Fox, I totally stole your title. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie to you.